Hello dear students, uh, welcome back to Sajjan Biology classes and uh, in today's session we are going to discuss about uh, a kingdom Monera. The bacteria are a sole members of this kingdom Monera. And these bacteria abundantly available and everywhere. So even they are living in an extreme habitat. So uh, hot springs irbodu, deserts irbodu, snow irbodu, and the depth of the oceans irbodu. This two uh, reason galalli bacteria galu badhta irithte. Andre they live in an extreme habitats. So one do uh, beneficial character in irbodu andre because of the presence of resin cell wall uh, which helps uh, in the protection of these organisms. And let us discuss then in detail about this kingdom Monera. So basically the Monera is grouped into four categories uh, based on the structure or a shape of the bacteria. So they are nothing but the one is called a spherical shape. Okay, that we used to call as a cocci. So where that the bacteria are in a spherical shape. Okay, and next one is that a rod shaped bacteria. So we used to call as a bacillus bacteria and lactobacillus and uh, thiobacillus and you heard about uh, many other bacteria names. So where they are uh, appears like a, a rod shaped structure okay and where that comma shaped structure. So vibrium vibrium so that uh, cholera vibrio so it is nothing but cholera vibrio which is causes the cholera and the you know okay. So, Adetara, so shape which appears like a comma shape, hence we used to call as a comma shaped or vibrium bacteria. Last one is that a spiral shape. So, the bacteria which may have the flagellum, if they show the certain flagellum or a spring shaped structure, so we can call them as a spirulum bacteria. So, these are what the four uh, uh, categories of the bacteria on the basis of shape. And let us get into the uh, concept uh, regarding uh, about the Monera. So, which includes uh, basically the major two types of bacteria that is Archae bacteria and U bacteria. So, you can see here that the Archae bacteria are so nothing but the preformed or first formed bacteria. Okay, have a specialized structure and they have a bacterial cell wall. So, they are modified than other bacteria because they need to survive in a extreme conditions. Okay, extreme environmental conditions only organisms survive. So bacterial cell wall composition is one So because where these organisms if they are uh, need to adapt in a salt area, salt area the organisms Anta bacteria is now halophile bacteria. The bacteria which are uh, surviving in a hot springs, Bucinirna bugge anta in karita idhuve. Anta lirto andre na wo thermoacidophilus bacteria anta karitiwe. Adhe tarah marshy areas dal lirto andre na wo dikhe anta karitiwe. Methanogens anta karitiwe. Common agi even now methanogens, so methane producing gas anta karitiwe. Okay. Methane producing bacteria and they are present actually in the gut of rudimentary animals like uh, cattle, something like that, buffalo, cow, and all. And after the archaebacteria, we are studying about an U bacteria. So, what are U means nothing but a true bacteria, something like that. And uh, specially, uh, these organisms are uh, characterized by the presence of rigid cell wall and presence of flagellum, something like that. And where the again U bacteria that are we are classifying on the basis of mode of nutrition, so autotrophs and heterotrophs, where they can synthesize their food by itself, they are called autotroph. And where the organisms they can synthesize the food by depending on the other organisms, they are called heterotrophs and heterotrophs. Okay, even parasites, hetero means different. So, bere organisms gala mele, athwa bere method gala mula ke en martha opandre. Uh, food in a synthesis madate. Auto means self. Trophic means synthesis. Adhikana autotrophic and the karate. Hetero means different. Trophic means synthesis. Okay, trophic. So let us discuss then the autotrophs all gana yaradara discuss madata the one the photosynthetic bacteria, chemosynthetic bacteria and the head. Okay. Illi photosynthetic bacteria. 
सो कामनली कॉल्ड ऑफ दीज बैक्टेरिया आर सयनो बैक्टेरिया अंत करते सयनो बैक्टेरिया सयनो इट इज नथिंग बट ब्लू सयनो मीन अद्क ना कामन वी टू कॉल एज ए ब्लू ग्रीन आल अंत करते एंड नेम आक्चुअली इट से दैट एंड दीज आल दे कंटेन ए क्लोरोफिल ए लाइक ग्रीन प्लांट hence they can synthesize their own food when you look into the habitat of these organisms andre avelli irutade ant heli and some of the colonial forms allu sigutte okay and these organisms they live in fresh water la irbodu marine water la iradru irbodu athwa even we can found on terrestrial form so bhoomi melanu kandu bartakanta algae galu ivu and uh, some of the bacterias they can form a bloom in a polluted water body santa karite okay and uh, we must know that why actually that blooms means uh, where that oxygen deficiency it is more yavaga namge biological oxygen demand irthado anta water bodies alle enagutte blooms formation agutte cyanobacteria formation agutte you know it irbod a paachi gattirthakanta neer neer nintirthadellalla green color paachi kattirthada adella most agi cyanobacteria so enagirthada pandra hard irthada okay and next uh, you can see uh, the structure of nostoc so it is in nostoc olagade new structure nodabod andre some of the u bacteria are photosynthetic bacteria they can uh, synthesize their own food so due to the presence of heterocyst so these heterocyst are the structure which is responsible for the synthesis of food and they are externally covered by a mucilaginous sheath anta kariyute okay bacteria oxidizes the inorganic substances like nitrate irbodu nitrate irbodu ammonia irbodu so they are converting these and uh, using an energy called an atp and these bacteria uh, even they plays a very important role in the uh, bio geo chemical cycles anta karithivu no andre nutrient cycling anta hodirbodu nevu phosphorus cycle irbodu sulfur cycle irbodu inta nutrient cycling allu kuda ee chemosynthetic bacteria the role bahala irutte next we are studying about an heterotrophs so you can see that heterotrophic organisms are are the organisms they are most abundantly available in a nature so most of the heterotrophs are called a decomposers anthe karithivu okay and decomposers olagade ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸು ಬಹಳ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಇದೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಈವನ್ ದೆ ಕಾಸಸ್ ದಿ ಮೇ ಮೇನ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಟು ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಂಗಂದರೆ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಬ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದಂತ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ವೇರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋಬೆಸಿಲಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕರ್ಡ್ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿಬಯೋಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಫಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫೆರಿಕ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇಂಟು ದಿ ಲೆಗುಮಿನಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಗುಮಿನಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೈಟ್ರೋಸೋಮನಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾಸ್ ದೇ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮೇಜರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಟ್ರೋಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದೇ ಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜಸ್ ಟು ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೆಟ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ Uh, so le- uh, next we are going to discuss about an reproduction so there are two types of reproduction can be seen in bacteria so that is asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction so asexual reproduction in bacteria it takes place by majorly through by fission so where the one bacteria is dividing into an another bacteria by division process anta karithivu no so one bacteria innond divide aagutade center person adaga idakku navu enanta karithi fission anta karithivu during unfavorable conditions en aagutade pa andre bacteria they produces a spores during unfavorable condition even uh, some other bacteria they are reproduced by sexual means and where the genetic recombination anta karithi where that primitive type of dna that does transform from one bacterium into other so that is nothing but a genetic recombination adakke now in one hesaralli we even we can call them as a transduction anta hel karithi so you must know so just they have given a statement in your textbook that the primitive dna which is transformed from one bacterium to the other so it is nothing but a transduction so which was asked in your competitive exam 
And next we are going to uh, discuss the last part that is called an uh, Mycoplasma gallus septicum. It is a very smallest microbe, a smallest organism. And basically uh, this is a lack of cell wall, completely it is a lack of cell wall. And even these organisms they can survive without oxygen and they are uh, more pathogenic to the even animals and and plants. So, you can see here that Mycoplasma galliceptiums are the uh, lack a cell wall. So, do not have a cell wall. Anta. Here it they are the smallest living cells. Anta so, please remember that and uh, they can survive even without oxygen. Anta or nothing but an anaerobic bacteria that is all aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Anta what you know. And next one is that they are commonly pathogenic in animals and plants. So, this is what about the uh, kingdom Monera. If you have any doubts, please uh, drop your doubts and comments in the comment section. I will reply for your questions. I, uh, I hope you understood everything. Please take care. And always you please remember the study for knowledge, not for marks. Take care and bye.